This video is about Austin home prices declining for the second month in a row. Hey everybody, I'm Dan Forbes, broker at Forbes Realty here in the Austin, Texas area. And I've got an exciting video for you today because our home prices now are on a downward tr trend in October of 2021 compared to what they were earlier this year. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living and working and playing in Cedar Park or Leander, Texas, you've come to the right place. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every week when a new video is posted. And if you like this video, smash that like button as well. Look, I literally get calls and texts and emails almost every single day uh, from people that are moving or relocating to the Cedar Park or Leander, Texas or the North Austin, Texas area, and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, and you are thinking at all about real estate in Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, North Austin, you've come to the right place. And just remember, I've got your back and I'm happy to help. So let's get into today's video right after this. So as I said, this video is about Austin home prices declining for the second month in a row. So if you are one of those buyers who during the first half of 2021 decided to sit out the market because it was so crazy with multiple offers on every new listing that went on the market within hours and buyers paying $100,000 or more above the asking price in order to win in a bidding war situation. If you set out of all of that craziness and said, I'm going to wait for the market to stabilize a bit, I'm going to wait for prices to start coming down, then hey, today is your lucky day because for the second month in a row now, Austin real estate home prices have been declining. Now they are still up significantly over where they were this same period last year, but let me explain to you what's happening. So I was reading this article in the Community Impact uh, newspaper that was released just uh, yesterday. And let me point out some of the highlights of this article and you can see it on the screen right now. So the article is talking about how that the median home price in the central Austin area was 662,000 in September of 2021, just this last month, which was down $10,000 from the previous month where the median price was 672,000. And then leading up to that, uh, home prices had increased each month in 2021. So from January, all the way through July of this year, home prices have been rising and we've been in this crazy market of hardly any inventory available and buyers having to get into bidding wars and paying 10, 20, sometimes 30% above the asking price in order to win. But the article goes on to say, right now the median price last month surpassed that of September 2020 by 15.5%. So in fact, the median price for September of 2021 is up 15.5% over the median price of September 2020, and that's in the central Austin market. Now for the whole area around Austin, the entire greater Austin area is experiencing the same declining trend with the Metro's median price dropping from 470,000 to 450,000 last month, which means that it is up 28.5% year over year. What does this mean for buyers? I mean, should you continue waiting? Are prices going to drop lower here in the Austin market? What's going on? Well, what's going on is that our market is beginning to stabilize. We are having more new listings come on the market almost every single day, which means that buyers have more opportunities and buyers are not competing with 15 or 20 other offers on a home and are not having to pay 10 or 20 or 30 percent above the asking price anymore. As a matter of fact, here in Cedar Park, we have 92 listings that are under contract right now 
and those listings from the day it was listed till the day it was uh, put under contract was an average of 15 days on the market. Now that is still an extremely strong seller's market as compared to a neutral market where it would take about five months for a home uh, listing to go under contract. So it's still a seller's market. Prices are still going up. But what's happening is that buyers are not having to get into bidding wars as much with one another. And therefore, they are not having to pay tens and twenty to thirty thousand dollars above the asking price in homes that are priced in the three, the four, the five hundred thousand dollar price range. So our market is stabilizing. Buyers have more opportunities. Yes, prices are still going up but because there's not as many bidding wars anymore, the median sale price for the last two months has actually declined. So I'm happy to speak with you personally by telephone or if you wanna send me a text or an email, just look down in the description below and you'll see exactly how to do that. I'm always happy to have a conversation with people about real estate in our uh, local Austin market. So before you leave my channel today, please take a look around, uh, check out the other videos. You're seeing them pop up on the screen here in just a moment. And please do me a big favor, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that you'll be notified when the new video is posted. And if you like today's videos and you like the content, smash that like button as well. And remember, I've got your back.